Good day guys, Bing here. Um, let's do another one. So this time, um, so this with curved floor. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do this. Um, okay. So first, uh, so this time we need to create a project for this one. So okay. So let's go. I'll I'll do this thing three D view. Okay. So so this this one quite simple. Um, basically, what we need to do is so uh, just some curved wall, and then here we might need to create some opening. But yeah, and then even these can be modeled as a a floor or or as part of the wall as well so it's all up to you okay so um i think let's just do this as uh we can do both okay so let's just do uh okay so this is 90 degree this is a arc so maybe we can try use floor first so let's do some floor um i will oh uh, actually let me just add another level i'll just go uh, copy up okay so another level so first i'm going to use floor so i'll just do a floor maybe just do a rectangular shape and maybe just add a use fillet arc to create a curve so now we have this floor All right so uh make it make maybe make it 300 because these are quite thick even more than three but yeah let's just uh, maybe just make it we can make it 450 or something like that i'll just call it 450 and then change this one to 450 okay so now we have a very thick floor so i'll just control c and uh oh actually hang on yeah we can just model the wall next okay that's fine let's model this so now we have a uh have a, uh, can't really see what's what's going on there uh looks might be a curve arc there but anyway so let's we now have a floor right so now we can just add this one we can model this one as a wall so see wall yeah i think that's the only one in this bit okay so let's do it so what w a and also uh, let me just check the material so currently nothing right maybe i'll just use the you know, finish okay so because i know that uh the generic model or generic wall so if i go pick the generic wall the finish is uh finish okay so well, we're going to use uh, matching because we're going to use um, a, a joint geometry okay so now wall i'll use pick line and i'll choose location line as a finish exterior right so use ground level as base top currently unconnected uh, let's change this one to level one okay so i'll pick so let me just go to top view pick line see so when you pick edge so the dash line means uh tells you which side the wall will be placed so in this case i want the exterior face of the wall to match the floor so move your cursor on the left hand side of this so now we have this right so uh uh, let me have a look again so basically this is this bit um and also looks like this need to go up a little bit right <laughs> but anyway so let's just not uh join them join the one floor so because because uh the, the material so they share the same material so you can uh it will hide that the line between them when you use joy geometry okay so let's have a look again uh yeah that's another floor so now we can create something uh, another use use another wall here okay so 
um, I think this time uh, uh, let's just use an, do another one so wall and again pick face okay so this time let's just do another one go to the top and then uh, I'll use split because sometimes I just uh, uh, you can just split wall and delete this bit okay and then uh, this needs to go up right so change the base can offset base offset so for example uh, I'm not sure <laughs> that high because the currently the high is 3.8 okay so maybe let's just make it you know for example 27 right so and then what we need to do is we need to go curve that one so let's have a look again so there might be some another uh, another wall there so so i uh, a little um, tip for you sometimes uh, not sometimes i always do this so when i want a wall another wall exactly the same base constraint uh, base offset top constraint top offset i'll just copy the copy it okay so if because if you use a create similar cs and create another wall oh the same good but sometimes it it just you know change it will change okay so yeah so you can also copy another wall i'll rotate it by an rt degree and then i'll use uh, i'll create cs click cs oh, sorry press cs create a similar and then use fully arc so uh, to create a arc curved wall okay so yeah so this is that bit um okay so it looks oh we, we still need this one so that's 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 also fine uh what i'm going to do maybe this need to go smaller Ooh. Um, maybe let me, let me think yeah okay good so for for this bit this is a little bit tricky we need to uh i think the easiest way we can modify sub element oh sorry modify uh edit profile sorry i'll split this again and drop this down to the floor change this one to zero right and then we can also join them and then we can you know uh, edit profile and for this one i don't really like um this so current situations this go up this and then if i edit this one it's a bit so what i'm going to do i change this one to instead of level one i'll change this one back to ground floor with 27 so and then maybe i'll just and then just uh, extend this wall to this and then we join them so now if i go just edit profile so um and then maybe just do something like this trim trim dm dm is mirror well, you need to click twice to create that uh, mirror um line or hang on let, let me just go dm what's what's this called draw axis okay so mirror yeah cool so now we have this right uh constraint not satisfied okay that's fine this is because we changed this one uh previous edge of that wall is here now we change it the profile so now it go here so that's fine and you will see it will uh yeah uh because we already joined them so it won't there, there won't be any lines between them so yeah i think that's so these that's another long arc here i think this can be down by um i maybe i'll just uh, copy this one to here reset profile drag this to this end drag it to roughly here uh, let me have a look again lower to this maybe just a meter something like this and then so if we need a let me just drag this a little bit more edit profile i'll just you know 45 degree or whatever and then oh yeah, wrong one sorry uh, just do a arc uh, 
Oh, hang on. Let me just have a look again. Yeah, I think I need to be here. Um, I'll cancel this one and drag this a little bit to here. Edit profile so I can just draw a 45 degree long. Oh, sorry, wrong one. This start end arc. Yeah, start end arc. S start end radius arc. Sorry. And then we can just do a you know a quarter circle, right? So finish, join, join, join. That's it. Okay. So yeah, all oh, good. And then I think yeah. So this is you can do probably do a uh, modeling place uh, for this bit. So and then some railing. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, so these these uh oh they're different. Yeah, yeah. So you just maybe just model in place execution will be fine. Okay. So, and I think this is it. So now, what you can do is so because all the levels are the same. So if I just copy some more levels, you can just select. Oh, hang on. This floor down here that's forty four fifty. So maybe need to lower this one just type in negative 450 so we don't when we sorry when we copy the map we uh so um, there won't be overlapping issue so now we can just control c okay so go paste drop drop down menu go to align with select the level oh here oh, which one yeah select the level so we need to select this click ok that's it. So this is how we can quickly create this. So of course there there are some uh, variations here, there, but uh, yeah. So it's it's not hard to, to model. And then once you have this one, right? So so you can see uh, should be continuous. So you just need to join geometry. Oops, wrong one. Sorry. Just be careful because we have a floor in the middle, right? So make sure you join this wall with this floor. Join this wall with this floor, so it will get rid of the line between them, right? Oops. Okay, so yeah, so this is it, um, and also. Uh, uh, if you want to say, um, oh, maybe you can just model this as a wall. Yeah, you can do that too. So, like, even without a floor. So, uh, imagine you, uh, let me just, uh, for example, I'll just offset this this edge by uh, this wall is three hundred mil. So, I'll just offset. Sorry, offset them. O F by I'll I'll untick the copy type three hundred so and then just click and click yeah you don't need to click this one because when you click when you offset this one it automatically uh, match that um, offset okay so now if I click uh, finish so yeah don't attach so now we don't have floor but we can just um, so oh, actually, it's easier to just you know raise this bit up, raise this bit up, and then for this bit, um, uh, 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 which way? so we can just you know draw a little. I'll just copy to this one. Okay, so um, this needs to go up to level this. So this time instead of use ground floor because uh, I don't know exactly what this height need to be but uh, I know the f thickness of the floor is 450 so we can instead using a uh, ground floor we can use level 1 and use negative 450 so this will make sure it match the floor right so and then we can just uh, AL align pick this face pick the wall and use E uh, extend extend trim extend pick this face pick this wall pick this face pick this wall and do the same thing so you can see we just need another one here so this time I'm going to use a uh, DM uh, pick the pick the midpoint here 45 degree it should give us this wall 
right? So now we can just use join geometry, this, 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 this. So that's it. Another method. So this time we use more. We just uh, pretend we, yeah, the walls behind. Oh, sorry, floor, floors still there. So, but uh, the face of this model, we're using a uh, wall instead of floor. And the same, uh, so for example, I'll just delete this one, two, three, and then we just copy this floor, copy this wall, uh, this wall, this no, okay, that's fine. We just change the one, two, three, four, change this top, uh, no, 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 sorry. Yeah, change to zero, 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 uh this one will be three eight three a zero zero <laughs> okay so and then we just copy these two wall control c paste select one five okay and this one same this one just need to change this one one two three two zero and change this one to three a zero zero so now we have all the wall Right, and then we can just ge join geometry. And that's it. So this is wall method. <laughs> okay, so, oh, floor. Yeah, sorry, forgot, forgot that bit. Uh, let's paste again, uh, overlapping, delete one. That's all. Oh, yeah, that's overlapping wall. Yeah, all good. So, so this is it. And um, one method is we model this horizontal bit as a floor, and then the rest as walls. Uh, the second method is just we model the whole you know face as wall. Just use a separate wall. So, for example, this uh, this. Uh, Edit profile, curved wall up there, right? So it's all individual, but you can just join them. It's easier to do it this way. Uh, otherwise, you can, you can somehow you can uh, you prob you can't because we can't edit a profile on a curved wall. So uh, if you want to use one wall, you can probably just do it from here, go all the way up here so do it like this and then you still need a separate wall here separate wall here okay so this is it uh, very uh straightforward All right so um if you have any questions please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye